Let's take a quick glance at time value of money. So as we discussed in our previous video that value of money today is more than the value of money tomorrow. That basically brings us to the concept of time value of money. So in time value of money at superficial level, it's very important to understand the four concepts. The concepts are FV, PV, FVF and PVF. So what we mean by FV is future value. PV is your present value. This is future value factor and present value factor. So future value says that uh, we need to understand what is the value of a particular amount, maybe three years down the line. So if you're trying to understand that, we will be using future value, which basically says principal into our present value into one plus R to the power N. So that's the formula we'll be using to calculate future value, which is basically your present value into one plus R to the power N, where N is your number of years. R is your expected rate of return or compounding rate. Present value is when we try to convert the future value into the present value. So basically, you'll be dividing future value by 1 plus R to the power N. So this is the way we discount uh, the present, we discount the future value to the present value. So this is a discounting methodology. Now what you see as a 1 plus R to the power N, this can be uh, denoted as future value factor and what you see as 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power n can be denoted as present value factor. So in case you want to convert the present value to future value, you need to multiply present value with future value factor. In case you want to convert future value to present value, you need to multiply future value with present value factor that is basically 1 plus r to the power n. Here is a here we are going to take an example of uh, time value of money. So this example is asking what would be the future value if we deposit rupees 100 for the period of two years at 5% per annum. So your expected rate of return or your interest rate is 5% and duration is two years and the amount that you invest you are trying to invest is 100. So 100 is your present value and you are trying to convert it into your future value. You are looking for what is the future value. Hence you are using the formula future value is equal to present value into future value factor and future value factor is 1 plus 0 0.05 that's a 5% the whole to the power 2 that is your n. So this will end up to 110.25. So 100 rupees today is the present value of 100. The present value is 100 rupees, the future value of the same amount is 110 rupees and 25 per se for 5% rate of interest for and for the duration of 2 years. So this was your time value of money in a very small nutshell.